today's activity, we're going to make rock candy. Woo woo. So to make rock candy, you're gonna need a couple of things. You'll need one cup of water, two to three cups of granulated sugar. You'll need a wooden skewer or a clean chopstick. Uh, you'll need a jar or other tall, narrow glass container. And then if you wanted to make it a color, you can add food coloring. And if you wanted to give it a flavor other than just sugar, you can add flavoring extract as well. I have only vanilla in my house, but if you had like peppermint oil or orange extract, any of those could be an interesting flavor addition to your rock sugar candy. We're also gonna be using the stove for this activity, so make sure your parents are okay with that before you get started. Here we go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get our stick ready to go in the jar. Um, my skewers are really long, so I went ahead and cut one into two pieces, and that's what I'm gonna use for this activity. We're also gonna use the clothespin. So I have two different sizes of jar here just to show you the difference. What we wanna do is put our stick in the jar and we wanna suspend it so that it's not touching any of the sides or the bottom. So if you hold the stick in so that it's about an inch off the bottom of the jar, then you take your clothespin and pinch it and lay the clothespin across the top of the jar. Now, if your jar has an opening that is bigger than your clothespin, like that, what you can do is take two other skewers, lay them across the jar, and stick your clothespin on top of the skewers so that your stick is suspended in the jar, not touching any of the walls or the bottom and is about an inch above the bottom. All right, so now is when we're gonna start using the stove we're going to take our sugar and our water and we're gonna mix them together to make a super saturated solution. What that means is we're gonna add sugar to the boiling water until no more sugar is dissolving. So the first step is to bring our one cup of water to a boil. So let's boil some water. Now that the water is boiling, we're going to start adding sugar. You're going to add one quarter cup of sugar at a time and stir. Continue adding sugar until it stops dissolving. So about two or three cups. two cups of sugar in my water and I'm going to turn off the heat because I don't think I can dissolve any more. Now is when you want to add food coloring. If you're going to use food coloring, um, I'm going to add some food coloring and make my blue. Um, you want to add enough food coloring that it'll be a pretty dark color so that it really shows up when, when the crystals form. Ooh. That's a good amount. Nice and dark blue there. This is also when you want to add any flavorings. So I'm going to put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And give that a good stir. So now we're gonna let this cool for 20 minutes. And while it's cooling, we have one more thing that we can do. All right, so I set a timer for 20 minutes for the sugar solution to cool. While it's cooling, we can do one more thing to prepare our skewers to grow crystals. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dip the end that goes in the jar 
into the sugar solution. And then we're going to put some crystal, some sugar crystals on that. That's going to form a really good surface for the sugar crystals to form our rock candy. So here we go. All right. Since I'm using two small jars, I have two skewers with two clothespins. I'm going to take each one and I'm going to dip the end into my sugar solution. So you can see the blue sugar solution there on the end of my stick. Now, I'm going to take a little more of this granulated sugar that we were using earlier, and I'm just going to sort of roll my stick in there until I've got sugar crystals on the outside. You can sort of see it, it's not focusing, but there on my skewer. And I'm going to do that with both. So we're going to leave these to cool and dry while our sugar solution is cooling as well. There's my timer. Time to pour the sugar into the jars. First thing, take the skewers out. Now, the pot is possibly still hot. The sugar inside definitely is, so use um, a pot holder or an oven mitt if you need to. Now, you're gonna take your sugar solution and very carefully pour it into the jar almost all the way to the top. If you accidentally spill any on the countertop, you can try and wipe it up right away, but again, try not to burn yourself. You can also wait until it cools and then pull it up then. Almost all the way to the top. They're gonna be nice dark blue crystals. All right, here we go. Now, slowly and carefully, so that you don't lose any of the sugar crystals that we put on here, and so you don't accidentally drop it all the way in, lower the skewer into the jar. And make sure, as you're doing so, that the skewer is still in the middle of the jar, and that it's not touching any of the walls or the bottom. Now, we just have to wait three to five days for the crystals to form.